Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So as you can see behind me, I got some plumbing going on uh, along the wall here. I actually plumbed in pretty much everything in the shop. So in today's video, I'm going to go over kind of my game plan and why I did what I did and how I did it. Some of the things I had to design to make it work and how I incorporated all of my tools into the dust collection system uh, using those blast gates that I had shown you in a previous video and how it all comes together. So if that interests you, stick around, I'll get right to it. To start, I had to adapt the Cyclone Inlet to the pipe fittings that I was using. I measured the outer diameter of the Cyclone Inlet, then I measured the inner diameter of the fitting. I design and print a test ring to make sure everything is going to fit correctly before I commit to printing the whole adapter. Once a good fit is confirmed, I print the adapter and attach the fitting to the Cyclone Inlet. This tote contains all of the old fittings that I used in the dust collector at my old shop. This tote contains a bunch of fittings I found at a flea market for $5. The story was that they came from an old pipe organ that was dismantled. They really came in handy for this project. For the rest of this video, I'm going to take a step back and let the work do the talking. Then I will summarize things at the end of the video. Enjoy.
Okay, so let's take a look at my progress so far. I think I'm done as far as the purposes of this video are concerned. So I got my dust collector here. Since I didn't have a good way to attach the, the pipeline um, in this area, I just used some webbing, some nylon webbing, to hold the pipe up um, on the box there. That'll be, that's fine, you know, it's nice and, nice and sturdy. The main trunk comes down here. I did reinstall my clamps uh, over the pipe. They just, I just don't have as much capacity for clamp storage, and so I built another quick little clamp storage rack right here. I come into this branch, and if we follow the branch down, there's a Y, and that's what goes to my jointer. I attached the jointer with the flexible hose, so I can move the jointer away from the wall as needed if I need to joint something longer and larger than this space can accommodate. I've got another blast gate right here off of this T, which comes around to the double four inch openings on my monster bandsaw here. I covered this branch that runs along the floor just to protect it and also to secure it so it doesn't get kicked around. And then I have a Y right here that will eventually end up at my router table. And then there is the blast gate for my saw stop. If we come back and backtrack a little bit on this branch right here, you see there's a blast gate right there. And it goes up along the ceiling and empties out at that T right there. And that T will be adapted to fit all of my mobile tools such as my belt sander and my planer, my other rigid sander here, and even my small table saw, or and even my small band saw. I also plan on making an adapter for it so I can run this regular two and a half inch hose and use the hose to clean up the area when I'm done working. The last detail on this branch is I did have a cap on that T right there and that just makes it possible for future expansion and let's say I want to move dust collection over to that far wall, maybe plumb in my sand blaster. Straight into the cyclone there is a branch right here that runs along the top of my miter saw station and there's a lot of stuff in the way but as you can see it runs all the way through here and then there's a T and a blast gate and that is just general dust collection for my miter saw station. I plan on enclosing this miter saw with some doors to help with the airflow, but I also plan on cutting holes here in the base or the platform that the saw is on so the big stuff can fall down and be collected in that drawer. This branch continues on down here and it's got an elbow on it, it's currently capped, but I have future plans for this to be dust collection for my drill press. So as you can see, a lot of work has gotten done, and like most shop improvement projects, this one is far from over, and it'll probably never be complete as I continue to add to it and to upgrade it, things like that. So I hope this video was of some use to you. Hopefully maybe it gave you some ideas or maybe inspired you to uh, install your own dust collection system. I think I've got one video left in this series. And in that video I will go over a magnetic quick connect system for hoses that I plan on installing in that T that's up in the ceiling. I'm still designing it and working on some of the details, but this is kind of the idea. So these fittings will have uh, magnets embedded in them and they will interface with one another and magnetically attach. These are neodymium magnets, so they're really strong. Um, I just have to do some testing to see if they can handle the weight of the hose and they can be moved around a little bit without separating. So that'll be covered in a future video. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this video just by saying to everyone, thank you for watching, especially those of you that stick around to the end of the video. Your support means a lot and um, any contribution that you make, whether it's liking, and uh, subscribing or commenting down below. Those interactions really help make my channel more visible to other people and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. Everything that I featured in this video that can be bought on Amazon will be provided as a link down in the description below. Um, I'm an Amazon affiliate so if you click on those links and buy something through those links I receive a commission. It helps support the channel 
And the best part is it comes at no additional cost to you. Thanks again everybody for watching. I really can't wait to put this dust collection system to heavy use and to fill that barrel up for the first time. Um, I hope that you guys stick around to see all the fun things I do with this system. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.